Hi guys, welcome to Sana Lifestyle. If you're new to this channel, this is Sandhya, and uh, today you've seen the title. It is DIY using old clothes. Uh, so we are going to do something very interesting, which is very useful for girls. Uh, so keep watching the video until the end. And uh, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to follow the drill, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a video. So let's get started with the video. To make a scrunchie, we need scissors fabric glue, thread, paper clip, rubber band, needle, a glass and a satin. Now take this cloth, measure into 10 or 11 centimeters and cut it into a piece in a rectangular shape just like this. To make a scrunchie so as you see I've stitched the cloth using a thread and needle at the edges now turn the cloth inside out facing the upward bring it out you could also use a safety pin to turn the cloth Give it a tight press or a heat press so that it would stay steady and firm. Or give it a press like I do using my hands. Now take a rubber band, cut it into two and insert the rubber band on the one side and bring it out to the other side. Bring it out and tie a knot at the edges. Or you could also take a glass, place it upside down, put a rubber band over it or you could place the cloth first and then roll a rubber band over it. Now fold the cloth into two halves, place the cloth correct so that it would be equal. Stitch the cloth using a thread and needle or you could also use fabric glue. And this is how the scrunchie turned out. Cute one! To make a bandana, we need a cloth, a pair of scissors and a fabric glue. That's it. Now take the fabric, cut it into 11 cm or 15 cm. Fold the cloth to the middle, place one above the other. And give it a firm press. You could also place a thick book above it to make it firm and steady. Now use fabric glue and stick both the edges of the cloth. Continue until the end of the cloth. Use enough glue so that it could stay for a longer time. Give it a press so that it sticks evenly. Continue the same until the end.
Now let it dry and keep it aside. Or you could also place a paper clip so that it could stay firm. As you see, I've stuck the cloth and it turned out like this. Now, cut the edges into a triangular shape with the sharp edges using a pair of scissors. Remember, you should have sharp edges. Do this both on the other side as well. It is not necessary to stitch the edges or make it firm. Do it on the other side. Now take a rubber band and Tie the cloth to the rubber band. Make a knot over it. Let it be an equal length. Tie a knot so that it's tight enough. And now you're ready to wear the band. The bandana is ready. Look, this is how the bandana turned out. You could also try it with various other materials and prints. To make a hairband, you need an old t-shirt, fabric glue, thread, scissors, a needle, That's it. Now, take the old t-shirt. I've chosen a polka dot t-shirt so that it looks good. Now, cut the unprinted part of the t-shirt. Measure it with a scale or you can just cut it roughly. Cut the top and the bottom part. Let's not take the down stitched. Now, as you look, I've cut the cloth roughly. This is the first part and the second part. So there are two parts. Now fold the cloth inside out. So the inner part is facing the outside. Fold it into two halves. And you could stitch it using a thread and needle or you could also stick using a fabric glue. I would stitch it with the thread and needle. I have stitched the edges and placed it in a plus sign. Now fold the upper part down and remember the stitches should remain inside not facing outside. Fold both the sides as I do. Now give it a tight pull and create a knot in between. See, the edges are facing inside. Now fold the cloth and bring all the four edges together. You could tie it or give it a stitch. The hairband is ready. Ula, look how cute the hairband looks. This is one of my favorites.
so we have come to the end of the video if you have liked the video please do share subscribe and hit the bell icon and also please do share your comments below please